Welcome back, welcome back. Sorry guys, we got cut out. But here's part two of bands I think you guys need to be checking out. So anyways, as I was saying, Sin Hersey is definitely one. Uh, like I said, female fronted, but also has guy vocalist too. Uh, kind of like Sin Blance, hits such as Immortals, Absolution, Out of Connection. Their latest album was really amazing. What is your, what is, what do you, what would you tell them about Sin Hersey? Sin Hersey sucks. Well, there's something you like about them though. Not really. I mean, what 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 sucks about them? The vocals is whatever. The dude's straight up trash. The songs just don't. I don't, I don't like the songs in general. From this man, this man just this isn't good good for me. Yeah, but how you know they won't like them? I don't know. Everyone has different tastes. But well, I think Sin Hersey's definitely one of the best bands out there, in my opinion. So definitely check out Sin Hersey, guys. They're really good. They're really amazing. Definitely top notch when you just want some good ass fucking rock and metal music to jam out to. Another one, I guess, if you don't go by 2020, Alaska. They did part ways with their uh, one vocalist, but they're a lot more harder now. Got the little pop, poppy kind of sound out. Uh, just Toby now. What would you recommend about Alaska to these guys? What do you mean? As far as their new music is concerned. It's good. You got hits such as The Cure, uh, The D, De De The Dead End, and um, Live in Hell. And we're still waiting on more in our album. How much would you recommend Alaska for them to check out? I mean, I probably highly recommend them. Would you say the three songs? So just buy these three songs that they're a 10 out of a 10? Probably so. Definitely 10 out of 10, guys. Check out Alaska. Very amazing band. Definitely one of the most recommendable bands, especially by my taste. Blind Channel. Blind Channel. Oh, my God, dude. Uh, their, their newest album, uh, Pop Violence. Holy shit. 10 out of 10 album. And then they just did that new one, which was really amazing, too. Uh, you got hits such as Died Enough For You, Fever. Um, Snake, and there's like a lot of other ones. What would you re recommend them about Blind Channel? The last song was fine. But the, 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 the Pulp Violet album was straight up trash, really. You like Died Enough for You? Died Enough for and You. And Snake with the guy from Amarte. Snake is one thing. Died Enough for You. Only the thing about that song was the chorus. The rest of it was just, I don't know, I didn't care for the verses at He all. thinks they're too poppy sometimes. That song was too poppy. Outside of the Blind Channel, they're really amazing vocalists, though. The two guy singers are just outstanding, and they're really amazing. Blind Channel is definitely the one of the best things about 2020, as far as I'm concerned. And I recommend you guys check the hell out of Blind Channel. Really amazing. Yeah, they're pretty mediocre. They're really amazing, though. And that's a Sucker Punch album. Yeah, definitely not. It's a Sucker Punch album. Tell them. Ain't no sucker punch, you no sucker It's a sucker punch with another sucker punch. Holy shit. Like, it's just amazing. So, Blind Channels, definitely check out for you guys. I guess another one I would say is, is it really new, but the album is newer, and uh, I guess you could go buy it. St. Asania's Flaw Design album. Adam Guntier, formerly known as True as Grace's lead singer. Their album was really good. Uh... I, I would recommend you guys to check out St. Asania's newest album. Not their first album. Psh, throw that in the trash. But the new album, yes. I sure that was this year. I sure that was last year. Well, it was 2019, but I'm, I, that's why I'm going by these people to check out 2019 and 20 albums. What would you say to them? Do you agree that their first album belongs in the trash? I like the first album, though. It's not like the new album. I know, but I still like it. So what would you tell them to check out about uh, Adam and St. Asania? Oh, check that out, baby. You have Flaw Design. You know, you have Siren. Ghost. Ghost. The, the, the Hunted. Uh, don't try to remember. And then even the bonus tracks you can't find, but they're really good. Yeah, they're I on thought, YouTube. I forgot the name of the bonus tracks. There was uh, two of them, but they were both really good on YouTube. You there can find them. Two. There's yeah, a lot of, there's a lot of good great songs on there. Definitely. And, uh, a few others just to throw in there real quick. Uh, Polaris' new album dropped this year. Very amazing. Also, Amity Affliction's album. What would you recommend about those two albums for them real quick? Amity, I didn't really care for. It kind of grew on me a little bit, though, over time. Mm -hmm. 
Overall, though, I mean, still, it's a good album. And Polaris's album? Yeah, it's more of a mediocre album. But you did, like, four or five songs off that I album. Did, like, a couple of them. But... You got, uh, Waves, Massachusetts, uh, Out of My Head. Yeah, but really... Creatures like, of Habit. Uh, Massive and Waves, I'll, I'll give you that. The rest of a lot of the other ones, though. That was a really great album for me. I love the fuck out of that album. But yeah, guys, Polaris, Amity, uh, any quick ones we're missing out? Oh, oh, there's a few others. Oh, yeah, what do you mean? Armourage? How the hell we forgot that? Guys, check out Armourage. I, I can't believe we forgot that one in 2020. Armourage's newest album is definitely a must, right? 10 out of 10, Perfection. A Perfection 10, uh, you got hit such a strike and match. Uh, My Last Day, uh, Rivers, um, Fallen, Different Eyes, Transparent. Really, the whole album just amazing. Ten out of ten, right? Armourage. Yeah. And not last but not least, The War of Lives newest album dropped this year. You definitely want to check out The War of Lives. Definitely. The War of Lives newest album and Armourage are definitely two. Uh, definitely two of the best albums this year, and they'll go down that way no matter who releases albums. So, guys, that that is about it. I mean, there's others, but for the most part, that was the albums that we recommend you guys to check out. Those are the artists to check out. So, you, I think you guys will really enjoy all of them. And but that's all we got for you guys. So next time, but right now, that's what we got for you guys. Uh, subscribe if you're not subscribed to the channel. Drop your comments below if you need any advice any bands we will let you guys know who to check out last though if you checked any of them out and what you thought of them till next time that's all we got for you guys i'm paul rock out rock in.